In today's class, we will mainly discuss on introduction to EWM here. So this is very important, guys. Uh, starting first day, I will not go to SAP and you know I will not be confusing you. Uh, the first two days, I will be explaining about the background of the Veros and what is EWM exactly, how EWM came into picture by SAP. And the Veros activities, what are the daily activities in the Veros? It will happen, and the Veros structure of the Veros. Generally, as a EWM consultant, you should be knowing like what is the structure of the Veros and activities mainly. So that you'll understand in the first two classes. Oh. So the whole the next three months or three and a half months, you'll be learning only the EWM part here, which is extended Veros management. So generally we'll call it as the Veros management system. We call it as the Veros management system. So before going to this topic and all, I would like to show you the Veros part, like how the Veros looks. Uh, please go on your place. Test user. Please go on mute, guys. So let me open some Google. So wherever you have some doubts, okay, you can always stop me and ask the doubts. You can see me here, like, you know, that I'm showing the Veros outside part. The outside of the Veros. Every, any Veros, if you go, the outside, it looks like this one outside so here you can have some kind of tu which is called transportation universe you can call it as vehicles here so now don't go into depth terminologies and all just understand the concept here and if you see here the close view of the veros we can have the doors here you can see numbers 20 21 the sequence numbers, all these are called Veros doors. If this is Veros, this is called Veros doors. So any kind of unloading, loading, generally in the Veros, it will happen in the here. You can see all these are Veros doors. The use of the Veros doors will be discussing everything in in deep later. Let's go into Veros inside. You can see here. So if you observe carefully here, there are a lot of products placed in the respective locations. What are these things actually? There are a lot of products placed in the respective location. Maybe here or here, here. The products respective location it was placed. It means that what? The product is required after coming from vendor. We are receiving the products from the vendor. Once you receive the products from the vendor, you are placing the stock in the respective location. How exactly you are placing in the respective location? How system knows this is the right location for this material? 
because we are using SAP EWM. SAP EWM knows like which material to be placed on which location. That is the main reason we are learning EWM. We know the product characteristics. I mean to say like each and every product where exactly we need to place. Yeah, Ram. So one question here. Mm -hmm. So product is only coming from the vendor or we are putting that from manufacturing also? I, I'll come to that. Okay. Just okay, okay. some time. Uh, sure, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. No, no, yeah. no. Uh, still, there are a lot of, to discuss, lot of things to discuss. Okay, today full class we are discussing only the basics only. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, we are receiving the products and EWM is telling where exactly we need to place the stock. Okay, let's forget about the virus. There are many people who don't have knowledge in SAP also. So, uh, you know, Big Bazaar, you know, more supermarket, right? So let's take Big Bazaar. You all you always visiting right Big Bazaar right for the weekends with family and all. We'll visit the Big Bazaar or any kind of uh, this metro supermarket. That is the best example. Metro supermarket is there, right? Any kind of more Reliance also that is fine. The more supermarket or Reliance supermarket, which you will be. Uh, going frequently to buy some kind of you know uh, home needs and all. Now, if you take one photo of you know metro supermarket, hmm. so in metro supermarket there are a lot of things available generally. So starting from apparels, electronics, fruits, frozen foods. There are a lot of lot of varieties of you know uh, things will be available in the metro wholesale. So if you see here, fruits are located in one of the respective location. And if you observe carefully, metro there are frozen foods also. If you see here, all the frozen foods are placed in the respect to refrigerators normally if you see. And remaining other products are stored in the different different locations. How system knows that it is a frozen food and it should be placed in the respective location in this location. Can you place the frozen foods outside here? No. We need to place frozen foods only in the refrigerators here respect to location. So when the user receives that frozen foods from the vendor, you need to come to this location and you need to place the stock in the respect to refrigerators. How user knows that the stock should be placed in this location only? Suppose I'm the user. I got notification that I need to place that frozen food in the outside of the racks. Somewhere here I need to place that stock here. What will happen now? Within two days or within one day, okay, the, uh, the, the life the shelf life of the uh, respective product. I mean to say like uh, if the product variety is for one week, if you take some kind of curd or milk, if the product variety is one week, if I keep outside, the product variety will be decreased to one day. Right? If this happens daily, then to close the wholesale shops. So, if you take just a 20 rupees curd packet or milk packet, it is getting wasted. Just think about the, the millions of rupees varos which you are dealing, which you are using SAP. The millions of rupees, the stock. Each and every product will be having certain characters. I mean to say like, you know, 
uh, if you keep outside, some kind of damage will happen. Uh, so each and every product will be having certain characteristics. So every product should be placed in the respective location, which I mean to say. And if you see here, there is a space allocation here. Space allocation for frozen foods, space allocation for fruits, space allocation for electronics. If you go to uh, any uh, this more uh, reliance and all, we can see particular products into one place, like electronics into for uh, electronics into the first floor, uh, apparel and clothing into the second floor, and uh, some kind of uh, you know um, vegetable and some kind of fruit section into the third floor. Or else in each and every floor, certain space will be having for electronics, certain space is available for apparel, certain space is available for you know fruits and vegetables. Okay, all this kind of thing will be space allocation in the warehouse. Space allocation in the warehouse. And it will be placed in with respect to the uh, temperature, the conditions of the temperature, okay, and the sequential orders. Okay, all those things will be managed in the WMS, which is like EWM. In the warehouse, we'll manage with respect to the SAP tool here exactly. Okay, and if you go to our Veros, so the general structure of this Veros, anywhere if you go, any Veros if you go, this will be the general structure of the Veros. Just to, to save the space in the Veros, we'll maintain some kind of levels here. Don't go into deep. We'll maintain some kind of levels to store the stock that we are receiving to the warehouse we are storing in the respective locations okay if you take other example also you are in home and you are bringing something to your home means every week you will bring lot of things to your home right i mean to say like uh, uh, you are bringing some kind of rice bags or vegetables or any kind of uh, uh, frozen foods or any kind of other electronics. You will bring lot of things to your home. But end of the day, you will place in the respective locations, right? Fruits and vegetables should be going to the frozen foods. Electronics will go to your uh, some kind of you know, master room. And it, it depends like, you know, uh, like what exactly the product you are bringing to the home and which location you need to store. Is it a you know uh, kitchen or bedroom or any kind of hall? So the respect to product characteristics will tell you that where exactly you need to store the respect to product. If you are bringing vegetables and all, you cannot place in bedroom right the vegetables and all. You need to place the vegetables in the respect to kitchen and the respect to frozen area only, right? So when you are doing manually you know that, okay, I, I am bringing vegetables, I need to place the stock in the respect to frozen area, right? Because you know, you have the eyes and you can see the product and you can place the product in the respect to location. But in case the user in the warehouse, he don't know which product, he cannot see the product also because the product is packed with the respect to packaging. Every product will be coming with the packaging. The user cannot see the product, which product and all. The user just will scan the product and system will tell where exactly you need to place the stock. So when he's scanning the product, okay, the system knows that this is the product. The product should be placed in the respective location. The kitchen area or any kind of master bedroom or hall, whatever it may be, the system knows where exactly the product should be placed by the product characteristics. What are the characters for the respect to product? What, what do you mean by character? The character means generally the temperature or any kind of frozen requirement, the requirement of the product will call it as requirement of the product will call it as characteristics. <coughs> so altogether I can call it as physically arranging the products physically not logically, 
physically arranging the products in the warehouse is called as WMS warehouse management system physically arranging the products in the respective location this is about the overview of this warehouse if this is the warehouse if this is the warehouse to manage this warehouse we have one tool that is called sap each and every warehouse we should manage with respect to erp tool what is erp tool guys what is erp before i go ahead the basics what is erp tool enterprise resource, resource planning. planning very important here we are calling sap as one of the erp tool sap is one of the erp tool so how many erp tools we have in the market there are some lakhs of erp tools if you take ariba if you take oracle okay and there are a lot of erp tools which are developed by the company itself as per the requirement so everything will be called as erp tool only everything will be called as erp tool but here in a market sap is one of the demanded erp tool which is used by most of the companies that is the that is the main reason we are learning sap okay in that one module it is called as ewm one module we will call it as ewm module which is extended warehouse management extended warehouse management why we are calling extended what is the meaning of extended and when this came into picture extended warehouse management before i teach what is extended and what is warehouse management so let's think talk about sap sap there are two things mainly sap there are two things configuration customization what is configuration what is configuration in your uh, language yeah, yeah like con configuration uh, where we can use the system uh, only and we can use the system given functionality to achieve our uh, requirement and mm -hmm. customization which is not uh, which is not done by the configuration or system given tool then we will go for the custom code okay that's a great okay in general language okay uh, whatever you told that is exactly right in general language what is mean by configuration general language you want to buy something okay you went to some kind of apparel clothing uh, store okay you want to buy something you will go there okay and you will see ready made shirts or jeans or something you will be seeing the ready made one you like it and you want to buy it right you like the respect to product whatever you have seen okay and it is exactly fit for you exactly as per your requirements the height the size everything exactly as per your requirement okay as per your requirement okay. then what you will do you will buy it you will buy it means which is already available the shop the product which is already available okay and is perfectly fit for you and you are taking the respective product then what is customization 
suppose the same shop you have seen the same uh, example take you take shirt you have taken you have seen some kind of shirt and you like it now the fitting the fitting of the shirt is not exactly matching with you maybe some kind of one or two inches more one or two inches less so some kind of requirement need to be changed i mean to say this is not as per your as per your requirement you like the shirt you like the clothing you like everything but the size of the shirt exactly not matching as per your requirement what you will do in the shop normally they will tell that sir within 2 minutes we will make the arrangement you sit there we will make arrangement as per your size and we will bring you means what they are doing they are doing the modifications inside there will be some tailor will be there who is expert in that and he will make some kind of customization in seal cut he will expand it and he will short it so whatever he will do that is called customization here in this case this person requirement is like exactly matching so that is called configuration this person requirement is not matching means what this this person belongs to one wearers just think that both are using sap this is one person this is one person both are using sap okay now for this person requirement and you can take the client also some client you can take okay uh, cola recently you know um, hype in the india cola cola is one of the company uh, everything as per his requirement matching in sap so he has done the configuration and he using the uh, system for his requirement and if you take other company any other company um, i'll take some company called right right company this company is also want to use sap but here sprite when they, when they check the system system is not with respect to their requirement because every client or every company will follow their own process right sap will not tell to them use this process for your requirement sap will give you the basic the basic idea and the basic uh, uh, software that they need to use for their respect to a daily process but sprite is the company they need to modify the system as per their requirements modification means some kind of customization means we will be hang our own developers what we will do we will make, we will create we will we will create our own um, what you will call general, general general thing is like we will create our own screens and own uh, layout requirements okay so means totally our own things and sap will not support for this one i mean to say like they will not be doing for us we need to do for our own client so that is the main reason we will call it as customization okay configuration means sap has given the requirement and we are just configuring the system customization means what sap has not given the basic things but we want that from the basic thing we are developing our customization got it and we'll learn in deep okay going further now what happened uh, almost like uh, this ewm you know uh, wm sorry before ewm we have wm the wearos management most of the people will be knowing this one wearos management it's also one of the module it's came around uh, 25 years to 30 years back into the market so if you see the configuration customization customization means what requirements okay as per the requirements they will modify the system now what sap will do any module what sap will do 
SAP will observe all those things. SAP will observe all the customizations whoever the client is doing and they will make a points. In each and every release, they'll make some points. OK, next release, what are the gaps we have? What are the gaps we have in the system? What are the gaps we have and how to fill the gaps? So just think like, you know, 25 years back SAP WM came. So each, each and every year they're, they're releasing some kind of versions. But there are some major requirements are there in WM. Major gaps are there. Where SAP need to release a new module with all the fulfillment of gaps. SAP fill almost lot of gaps in WM and they came up with SAP EWM to the market. They came up with SAP EWM to the market. Okay, we pray to that all the companies need to use WM. Whatever the companies they're using WM. Okay. Now they need to migrate to SAP EWM. Now, in this SAP EWM, there are two environments. Make a note, guys, very important. In SAP EWM, there are two environments. First one is embedded. Second one is centralized or distributed systems. Anything is fine, okay? You can have your own names. So here I'm telling as embedded and decentralized system. Embedded and decentralized system. So embedded and decentralized both use s4 ana both can use s4 ana okay make my words both can use s4 ana system and most of the people knows s4 ana right what is s4 ana just want to make lot of people in the market whoever is lending EWM, there is some you know uh, some kind of uh, uh, wrong information or you know who is lending okay that s4 ana cannot be used in a decentralized system like that so s4 cana generally used in both the environments embedded and decentralized systems so the kind the company Whoever is interested to move to SAP EWM, they can choose any options. They want to choose either embedded or they can choose a decentralized system also. Okay. <clears throat> what is embedded? Don't go into deep guys. Embedded means just think like we are getting everything in the same box. Same box means SAP. Same box. Decentralized means just think that we are receiving we are receiving in multiple boxes we are receiving in multiple boxes just like i will tell like s4 ana here i will call it s4 ana multiple boxes means for ewm we are receiving a separate box means separate system means separate client separate logon we are maintaining two separate systems. For S4 ANA, we are maintaining one system, and for EWM, we are maintaining one system. In embedded, we are receiving only one box. Just we'll call it as box, okay? S4 ANA. In this only, we'll be having all kind of modules along with EWM. But in decentralized system, we have two separate boxes. Okay. The differences we'll be getting uh, going further 
and there are no much difference okay and if you go to the market and if you go for interview okay and no one will be bothering whether you are worked on embedded or decentralized as it is almost 95 percent same there is like uh, technically there are some differences mainly but not functionally so when you learn it is very good to learn decentralized because it is a bit complex one <clears throat> because if we have hands on on two different systems working on two different systems in the real time 95% of the companies they have decentralized <clears throat> i can tell that 95% of the companies currently they have decentralized and there are companies which is having embedded also but they are going with decentralized multiple boxes because EWM is separate package, right? They want to maintain some EWM separately. There are a lot of reasons, technical reasons will be there, but most of the people they are choosing decentralized system, maybe because of performance. Performance is more when they distribute systems like two different systems, they can manage this system with good performance and also they can manage EWM with good performance. Performance means lagging in the process. When you scan the product, it is taking time. So all these kind of things will be under coming under performance. Okay, and EWM is an independent module, guys. EWM is an independent module. Means anyone can learn EWM. There is no background required for that. Okay, generally you will be seeing whoever knows AMM, whoever knows WM, whoever knows some kind of SD, PP, some kind of prerequisites not required for EWM. EWM is an independent module and there are companies recruiting even freshers guys. Certified freshers in SAP. If you are certified in SAP or else if you have good knowledge in SAP, in India they will check only knowledge. Okay, if you have very good knowledge in SAP, even for freshers they are recruiting as SAP EWM consultant. Because the market is very huge. Okay, and uh, if you know if you have a good knowledge on EWM, they are recruiting even freshers. But if you see other modules like MM or SD, they will expect some kind of experience from your side, like two to three years of experience. They will expect. But EWM is not like that. Okay, if you have very good knowledge, they, even they will recruit freshers also. And as I told you, EWM is a bit complex to understand. You need to practice more and you need to think more generally. EWM. Okay, if you have that ability to think the skills, if you have, you can always land in a good job because the market is very good. And next 15, 20 years, uh, the hype will not go down because SAP has given target of uh, 2030. Okay, now I think it's 2030 where we are using different uh, systems like WM system and whatever they're using. Okay, they need to move to EWM system. OK, previous it was 125. I think now it was extended to 230. OK, by that time everyone should migrate to SAP EWM. OK, and almost like lot of companies, the big companies, they're using EWM system, warehouse management system. So, so now they so need the to migrate to EWM system. Almost all the companies they need to migrate because SAP will not be supporting going further after the deadline. So people need to move to S4 system or EW system? No, not required. Especially for this one. Okay, up to next seven years, it is not required to them to go to S4 directly. Hmm. Okay, if they're using ECC, it's very easy to migrate to S4. Okay, directly yes, yes. going to S4 is a bit complex. That is the main reason in the market. Companies will go for ECC. Not all the companies, there are few companies, they will go to ECC with EWM or else directly ECC and they will go into migrate to S4 or not. Migration will take in three or four months, but if you are going for implementation, it will take years, right? That is the reason yes. ECC is not very complex. So they will go with ECC and if everything is stabilized, then they will migrate to S4 or not. Is this clear for you? 
Yes, sir. Okay. If it is clear for you, then we will understand about this one. Just one flow diagram to understand about the wave rows. And after that, I will uh, draw some wave rows picture and we will discuss in deep of the wave rows. What is happening in the wave rows? Just to understand. If you see the picture here, what do you understand? WMS means Veros Management System. Veros Managed System. What is Veros Managed System, guys? Here, Veros Managed System. What exactly we are using here? WMS. Veros. Understand the words. Veros Managed System. To manage the Veros, we are using one system. That is called EWM. Okay. Now, if you see, we see the counting stocking cycle starting with counting stocking. Why counting and stocking? In every warehouse, or if you take more supermarket also, end of the day, you are a, a some kind of supervisor. More. You are a supervisor. Just take any product. Like uh, some vegetables you take, tomato. End of the day, or else every one hour, every two hours. Do you require to check the stock or not as a supervisor? Do we need to check the stock or not? Only one product I'm taking example, tomato. You can take yeah. all the products. Yes. Yeah, we need to check the stock. We need to check the stock. Our system should check the stock automatically. Suppose just think that we need to check the stock manually. Okay, we are checking the stock of tomato in the supermarket. Now stock is over. Just think that we have only 5 kg of tomatoes left. Previously, you have 20 kg tomatoes. Customers bought it. We have only 5 kg left tomato in the supermarket. So by end of the day, the 5 kg also will be over. It will get buyed. What, are, what about next guys? They will stop it. They cannot stop it. What will happen if they stop it? What will happen if they stop it? Uh, what if they don't check the stock, if they don't check the stock, and if they don't maintain the stock frequently, before stock get before stock is getting over, what will happen? So when customer will come, then uh, that uh, the soft floor or manager will say, okay, out of his stock. Mm -hmm. So then then there is no uh, regular uh, running of the uh, that soap. Okay, because then it is uh, it is we are not managing in a good way. If mm -hmm. our stock is going down and we are not ordering in advance, then there is an issue. Exactly. As a company, as a company, they should not lose the customer satisfaction. Yes, satisfaction. Okay. Exactly. They should not lose the customers. See, one day if I go to shop, uh, there are uh, tomatoes not there. Just think about tomatoes only. It is not there. Next day if I go to the same shop, the same product, it is not there. Two to three days continuously I went to same shop, it's not there. What I will do next? I prefer going to next shop, right? If I if I like the next shop, I will not come to this old shop only, right? Means they are losing the customers here. If they lose the customers, they lose the business. So every company, they need to maintain the regular flow of the business. They cannot stop the flow of the business. Whatever the product it is getting sale or not, if it is getting sale for weekly, half early, yearly, whatever it may be, they need to maintain the stock. If the stock is getting over, they need to order the stock. From whom they need to order the stock? Obviously vendor. Obviously vendor, right? Because raw materials available from vendor only. Raw materials means what guys? Fruits, vegetables. Here in this case example I am telling. Fruits, vegetables, whatever it may be. Tomato we are taking example. Tomato we need to get from distributor. From whom we should receive guys? From distributor. Distributor where we will get the stock from farmers, right? Farmers will 
uh, grow the tomatoes and they'll sell to distributors. Distributors will sell it to the companies. So we are receiving the tomatoes from the distributors. Okay, one more 10 more of this we will cut as vendor. Okay, we are receiving tomatoes from the vendor. Okay, so once you receive tomatoes from the vendor, what exactly we are doing guys? We are storing the tomatoes in the respective location. We are storing the tomatoes in the respective location in the warehouse because tomatoes are also frozen foods only. Means we cannot keep the tomatoes outside for longer time. We cannot keep the tomatoes for longer time because as a company, see if you are if you are in supermarket, what they will do in the outside uh, racks and all, they will keep only two or three kgs tomatoes. If it is getting over, they will bring more tomatoes and they will keep it in the outside, right? They will not keep entire tomatoes outside because okay, the expiry of the you know tomatoes will be uh, gone. So in this case, we are storing the stock. Once you receive tomatoes from the vendor, we are storing the stock in the respective location here also. Where exactly you are storing in the warehouse? We are storing in the respective location where exactly we need to store the tomatoes. And here, once you store the tomatoes, here can you see work documentation and configuration. Means we need to get a printout stating that stating that we received these products, how much of stock we received, okay, where exactly this need to be placed, these tomatoes, okay, once you receive the stock, what is this one, forklift, this is called forklift, this forklift is carrying, okay, don't, don't worry, I'll tell you all this and all this later, this vehicle is carrying tomatoes, okay, and the system is selling, okay, okay, you, you need to place the stock in the respective location, okay, system is selling everything to the, this one, okay, and once you once you get all the information now what is happening storage reallocation replenishment storage reallocation and replenishment means what i told you that uh, <clears throat> outside if you go to here if you observe here carefully So if you observe carefully here, there are tomatoes here. And if you see, there is a maximum of around 4 kg here. We can, we can see our 4 or 5 kgs here. Okay, now, in the, do you think that in the whole supermarket, we have only 5 kg of, uh, 5 kg of tomatoes here? In the super, supermarket, do you have only 5 kg tomatoes? Question guys. In the whole market, just think this is more. In this whole more sour market, we have only 5 kg of tomatoes? No, we have an open here and somewhere in a storeroom or some frozen or some cold store where the tomato can be uh, like safe. Okay, so exactly. someone, so, yeah, someone is there who is checking. Okay, mm -hmm. stock is going down. So he's putting uh, to that uh, back, uh, that pot or bracket or mm -hmm. what uh, we can say that uh that's fine correct. it has been okay been or uh, you know whatever it may be okay. yeah been yeah been correct mm -hmm. been or told so every small company or big company they will be having go downs guys the general word you will be here in the market go downs go downs okay in our technologies we will cut as varos it can be big or small okay they will cut it as go down we will cut as was will call it as varos. They will call it as go down. For more also, if you observe carefully, if you go to more, next time observe carefully guys. They will be having certain locker rooms will be there. Okay, from there they will enter into the go downs. Each and every Ram, building they will have go downs. Yes. Ram, these people will go now, all the people which are in class. Now they will see the more or metro in different way. They will see in a SAP, SAP expect. Okay, See, this when, is I SAP this is WM, like, yes. when I learn SAP when I learn SAP WM, uh, every Sunday I used to go to Metro supermarket, Metro wholesale market. Every week I used to go to Metro wholesale market 
and I used to observe all the beans and I used to ask them actually why it is not in sequence, the bin numbers and all. I used to ask them, uh, is there any reason behind that why it is not in sequence? Okay, that guy has told me why you are observing that. Just buy whatever you want. Why you want all those things? Okay, this is my personal experience. Okay, yeah. uh, it, it's you. quite common. Okay, because whoever knows EWM, anywhere if you go in your life, you will be seeing in a different way because you know all these things how it is arranged. Yes, you know how it is arranged because more is a small company. They are using one small tool, their own ERP tool. But if you go to Reliance Trends, but if you go to you know, Metro Wholesale, if you go to IKEA, IKEA, you know, right? Uh, recently they, they kept in India also. IKEA. Yes, yes, IKEA. Yeah. IKEA. All these are managed by SAP only. SAP EWM, Reliance, okay, and uh, even this is their brand factory. Reliance, Brand factory, and IKEA, um, and there are a lot of uh, Decathlon. Decathlon also you'll be knowing. All these companies are major for SAP EWM guys. And if you see LinkedIn and all, all these companies will recruit for EWM candidates because they are managing the stock through EWM. So that is the main reason I'm I'm di discussing about all these things here. Very easy to understand because if directly if I tell you uh, about these things, what you will understand? Nothing you will understand here because everything is packed here. Okay, but if you know about this one, it's very easy to understand. We are facing onions here. We are facing tomatoes. But if you see here, I cannot differentiate the product by product here. I can differentiate the product by product. But here, inside of packing, you have the product. We are differentiating. System is differentiating here. Okay, by scanning it. I can't show you here. This product is there. This product is there. But here, I can tell you. Here we have this product. Here we have this product. That is the only difference, guys. Everything is same. Everything is same. Okay, that is the only difference. Yeah, Ram, uh, uh, Ram, one question. The product which is showing in the image is open. Mm -hmm. They are also getting managed by the software, or it is just they are like uh, shopkeeper or the helper. They are putting this one. You are telling about this one. Ah, yes, yes. I am telling about this one. See, there are you know it depends actually. Okay, because this is. Uh, managed okay by uh, not SAP because this is not warehouse. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, what will happen for this one company generally they will maintain their own ERP tool actually. Mm. Okay. And I can tell you that even this can be managed with SAP only. This can be managed, but we will not uh, spend too much of time in this case actually, but we can manage this one actually. It's very good to manage even this and there are companies actually I can tell you they can manage this also by SAP only because if you see here uh, where, whenever you go to any kind of more reliance and all if you observe numbers here mm. if you observe any kind of numbers here then it is managed by some ERP tool you cannot tell that it is SAP only some ERP tool it can be SAP also but to maintain all this stock here they need to have some go down right that go down will be managed by SAP. Okay, okay. That go down will be managed by SAP. So, so I have one small doubt. So, if they are using SAP, uh, they are using SAP EWM. Then, uh, then also they are using some uh, other ERP tool to manage exactly. the software. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, they need to use right uh, because EWM they are managing whole warehouse. It is too mm -hmm. costly. Okay, uh, if you take go down example. Gordon, how much of stock you will preserve? You know, crores of rupees stock you will preserve. Yes. yes. Gordon. But if you see here, here you can preserve only lakhs of rupees only. Lakhs of rupees. Lakhs of rupees only. This is this generally we will call this as you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, next minute. So all these are general analogies. In SAP, we will call it as replenishment here. Okay. SAP will call it as replenishment means what from go down whatever the fast selling goods will place in one area okay. to have the customers easy identifying and easy buying for them so okay. we'll cut as replenishment whenever the stock is finishing we'll bring some more stock and we'll place the stock here 
okay so small one more question related to this only yes. if 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 uh, like uh, one company having two to three stores and mm -hmm. one go down so go down is getting managed by uh, exactly. that uh, sap and uh, other uh, store by store they are using uh, different uh, or uh, like erp tool and that get connected to our as uh, e, e sorry ewm tool Exactly, exactly. And, and it, it it is managing the stock, okay? Yes. Updating the detail stock is out, stock is in. So like uh, issuing like stock is going down. Mm. Okay, okay, got it, got it. So in this case, maybe also that they have many stores and one go down and they mm. stores having small, small ERP tool that is connected to uh, major or uh, like just, just don't bother about small ERP tools, just tell SAP only. Okay, that's okay. fine. Huh? We'll we'll discuss about SAP only. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, even the small, you know, this is also managed by SAP only. Think that it's it's not hard. Okay, it's very easy to implement this also in warehouse. But okay. only thing is like uh, the user need to spend more time. Okay, because mm. see, if some person came to shop more, he went to more, and you don't know uh, where is some matters. Mm. Okay. You are asking the counter guy. Okay, uh, can you tell me where is the tomatoes here? Do you think that that guy know personally where is the tomatoes? No. Uh, maybe he's maybe, working here. Doesn't mean yeah. that he should know the product is located here, right? What he will yeah. do? He will check in the system, right? First of all, he will check in system that he will type tomatoes there. Once he type tomatoes there, system will tell that tomatoes are located in which location and how much quantity is left. That also your system will tell. Yes. yes. And he will tell that sir go to the right in the right corner you can see tomatoes how he knows he knows the bin number can you see the numbers he knows the bin number so this is the identification okay of the stock here where exactly the stock is placed all those things okay now this is called reallocation or replenishment means what where from the go down when the stock is getting completed, we need to bring the stock from go down to here for 5 kg again, and we need to place the stock here. That is called reconciliation, reallocation or replenishment. Replenishment or reallocation means reallocation. We allocated in the morning and we are reallocating the goods again to the this bin because the stock is co completed and we are just reallocating again. Okay, now what is happening? Goods picking and preparing. Goods picking preparing means what guys here? Mainly we are discussing about here going out means what the buyer will come here and he will cover he will pack some uh, 2 kg of tomatoes and he will go to billing and he will pay the bill and he will go. He will take the goods and he will go means what he is picking the goods. He is picking the tomatoes and he is going to billing and he is paying the bill and he is taking that means what the user is buying this one. The user is buying this one, okay? And you can see packing. Packing means what? The when the user uh, took the tomatoes, he is packing that in one cover, right? He is not holding all tomatoes in the hand. He is he is taking one cover also. In the cover, he is putting tomatoes, keeping tomatoes, and he will go to the counter and he will take one sticker. And in the sticker, he will uh, taking the weight for the respect to weight. Uh, he will keep the money and he is taking outside. Means what? He is picking the tomatoes and he is packing it with a cover. Okay, and he is making one label there. Okay, he is making one label there to identify this is tomatoes. This is tomatoes and this much is the weight. Means what? He is picking the tomatoes and he is packing it and he is labeling and he is building. It. I mean, he is paying the. So you can you see packing? Dispatching means what? Dispatching means uh, taking. Uh, I can tell that general example. Sending out, sending uh, out. He's, a, he's starting his bike and he is uh, he's going. So yeah. if you, this is general example which I told. If you take example of company, take example of companies guys here. Amazon, Flipkart or any kind of big companies. You can take Caterpillar. Now don't think about, see you can always refer to more supermarket for your examples, but in the real time, it is a bit different. Real time, not a bit different. Okay, not much different. You will see companies, Volvo company, Caterpillar, okay, Mercedes Benz, BNW, okay, and most of the companies use EWM, guys. Most of the companies will use EWM in the market. 
most of the companies use EWM. I'm taking example of BNW only. I'm taking example of BNW. Okay. If you take example of BNW, BNW is preparing one kind of uh, car, a new release of car they are planning. Okay. And uh, it's a super hit. Okay. And they want more uh, production of the BNW cars. What they will do, guys? They will check the stock. The stock is less. The demand is more. What they will do? They need to buy the raw materials. What is raw material here for BNW? What is raw materials here for BNW, which you are buying from supplier? Um, it, it's a maybe uh, depend on like vehicles and steerings. Uh, exactly. If they are not trusted uh, suppliers, BNW yes. will not manufacture end to end. Okay, the outer okay. layout of the car, the outer layout of the car, the wheels, steering, seating, everything they will buy. They will give measurements to one of the company. They will give measurements to one of the company and that company will prepare that will manufacture all these products and they will bring it to the BNW. OK, and what BNW will do here? There is one more step will be there. I will explain you in next 10 minutes. That is called production. That is called production that I will discuss you later. Production means what they are assembling all the products and they are preparing the car. OK, let me explain indirectly why to confuse you. Let me draw one of the bureaus. It will take some time, guys. To just to draw the bureaus. And I don't see people are not asking questions. Okay, you need to ask more questions in EWM. More questions you need to ask. The screen is a bit small. OK, I want a big screen actually. <clears throat> I'll make it this one small. OK. <clears throat> See, if you don't ask questions right, okay, you lose a lot of interest. Maybe you'll think like, okay, you, you got the uh, uh, concept, but you'll not remember much. If you ask questions, you'll remember the concept for longer time, actually. This is one of the, you know, trick when you're learning. If you ask questions, you will remember the topic, actually. Okay, now, naming conventions. We'll do all the naming conventions now. What are these things, guys? You only should identify it. What are these things? Just think these are the full way rows, guys. Doors. These are, full way rows. These are called doors.
these are called doors veros doors and what are these things staging area huh? Huh? no 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 staging area staging area no no i am asking about this one actually yard or uh, entrance uh, no 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 silly wind went to yard and all okay <laughs> what are these things outbound sorry sorry outbound. sorry outbound is a process outbound means what sending it to the respective customers on the finished products that i know but what is this location i am telling what a way selling point or no no this is uh, dispatching or uh, loading point to the containers uh, there is some naming for that <laughs> there is a naming for that mm. shipping point uh, no 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 shipping point so doors yard gateway so Sir, interim area. Have you got it now? <laughs> These both are called doors. These are called. Hello. Sorry. Yeah, I said in the starting doors. <laughs> oh, I, I I didn't listen. Sorry. Okay. I yeah. listen. Uh, then I thought, okay, if if it is not, then what? Then I thought uh, assembly area. What assembly area no, is no, inside? No, no. No, no, no. That and all will not be outside of the warehouse, right? Can you yes, see? Yes, yes. This is warehouse. You can see, you know, a bit. You can see outside, and you know, see, all these are linked to the outside of this one. Okay. Means yes. all these are called doors. Why we have two doors? Here we have doors, and here we have doors. Why we have two doors, guys? One is the main door, uh, like outside of, uh, like at entry of the warehouse, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. one is to enter the goods, particular good. Mm -hmm. uh, to the warehouse okay. one where truck I, truck are uh, stored or uh, like entry point i can say mm -hmm. that or mm -hmm. i can say that uh, their security person will okay check okay you have mm -hmm. any document to go inside okay then they mm -hmm. will check and they will allow mm -hmm. not everyone can come to the go down mm -hmm. the person who is having the permit or the person who is having some slip or something that can only enter okay so, Ah, you are right. Exactly, you are right. Okay. What about these doors then? This door is to placing the uh, stock in the uh, warehouse. Huh? No, no, no. How can you place? Yard this or door? dock? Uh... No, no. Don't no, no, no. add and dock. Okay. See, one thing <laughs> is like these doors are like GR. Means what? We are receiving the stock from the vendor, right? Mm, okay, okay. When you receive the stock from the vendor, how generally tell me first one thing. Do you think how long is the varos? Generally, varos will be how long? The distance. In, in acre, yeah, in acres, like exactly, we have not uh, read this. Mm. But very no, huge. There is no specific rules like that, but you can tell right. I can tell that it's maximum of some 400 uh, meters. I am telling it's 400 meters. 400 meter. It's looking like very small. Hey, 400 meters. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I'm not telling it like that. Eh? Uh, <clears throat> One meter. Uh, the okay. exact varios. <clears throat> loading point, unloading point. You are telling. Uh... No, no, no. <laughs> Just wait, na. Uh, let me complete everything. Still, we didn't structure the warehouse. We are in the first point only. No, no problem. We, if we are discussing more, na, we are learning more. Everyone is talking to each other. So in the but don't confuse next... yourself, okay? Because you are taking <laughs> staging and all, which will be confusing a lot for other people actually. Then you know, <laughs> because identification is very important. See, after I mention the names. You can discuss how long, how much you are you want. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. So generally, I can tell that the varos will be a bit long. Okay. Okay. It can be you know the around half kilometer or any kind of you know. Uh, it's more or less you know very big varoses if you observe carefully. Okay. And in this case, 
the goods which are coming inside of the warehouse, the goods which are going outside of the warehouse. It cannot be in the same place. It cannot be in the same place. Now just observe guys here. We have vehicles. <clears throat> If you observe case carefully, this vehicle is assigned to what guys here? This vehicle assigned to what? What is this one? First of all, what is this one? Transportation, loading, unloading. No, no, no. Don't go into that. I'm asking about this one. What is this one here? What is what, what exactly can see? Gate, 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 entry point. Uh, Exit no. point. Uh, uh, entry point. Door, right? This is the yeah, door, door. Exactly we are discussing. This is the door. 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 This is the door looks like guys here. If you see, these are doors. Can you see? This is door. Yeah. This is door. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you see here, let me show you Vero's doors first of all. Vero's doors. This is very important to understand. Okay. The basic things. Can you see here? There are a sequence of numbers are there. This is door, this is door, this is door. OK. Mm. All these are doors. Mm. So just think that. This side we are receiving the stock from the vendor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven up to ten are there. This side we are receiving the stock from the vendor. I mean to say like we are receiving in the vehicles. And if you see when you receive some kind of stock from the. Uh, from the vendor in a vehicle, the vehicle mm. should be assigned to the door. Can you see here here? From the, yes. if you see, you said, you can you see here? There is one door here. The vehicle directly assigned to door. From inside, what is happening, guys? So, according to this uh, product, it is assigned, and they will now uh, unloading will happen here. Yes, in the inside, it is outside. Okay, inside, yeah. there are some people will be there. They are doing unloading, unloading the goods from the vehicle. OK, but these are called doors. Now. These people assign vehicle to this door and they are unloading. Suppose customer came. A customer came to pick the goods because he is having some delivery means what uh, he ordered some goods. We should deliver the product also in the warehouse. What is happening guys normally? We need to sell the goods. That is the main benefit of that warehouse. Now we are selling the goods. The vehicle can't come here and they cannot stop here. Because this is unloading means what the goods are we are receiving here. Mm. OK, but whoever came for delivery. Car delivery and all he need to go to the other other place around means other what? Gate, they need to go gate. to the back area. Back yeah. area generally they will issue the goods. I mean to say like back area. There are some doors are available only for the goods issue. Means what I'm telling here. These doors are for the receiving the products. These doors are for the uh, uh, goods issuing the products. Receiving, sending. We are receiving the goods from these doors. We are sending our products from these doors. Is it clear, guys? Now? Yes. Okay, we can call it as like a, this is yeah. called D1, D2, D3, the naming conversions up to you. Okay. And this, this from here, it will be, uh, we can call it as S1, S2, like that. Naming conventions. Now we are receiving some kind of stocks. In this case, in the, here what is happening? These are called GR doors. Let me keep GR doors, guys. Here, this is called GR doors. Okay, this is called GI doors. Means goods issue. Shortcut, guys. Okay. <clears throat> now we are we are receiving some kind of stock from the vendor. Just think that these are the stocks. 
we are receiving some kind of stocks from the vendor. So once you receive the stocks from the vendor, it will come in a vehicle, right? And it will come from the door, right? Getting the point? We are receiving the stock from the vendor, from the TU, okay, from the vehicle. It, it is assigned to the door. Now what will happen here? Just think that uh, you want maybe draw a vehicle also here. You can imagine vehicle right here. Yes, we can imagine. Yeah, if you want to have vehicle also, I can have, but uh, this one. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. That's fine. So we got the vehicle, the vehicle got assigned to the door, okay, like this assigned to the door. Now what is happening? In this vehicle, we have these products. Now these products, some people are unloading. Unloading to where, guys? Unloading to the staging area. Just expand this one, guys, just to reach all the doors. We are unloading these products to the staging area. Unloading happening from the door. Vehicle is here, unloading the stock from the door. This is called what, guys? This is called staging area. So staging area means uh, where we are unloading, it is called staging area. Am I correct? correct? Unloading point okay. is called staging area. Ah, unloading point, exactly. Okay. The unloading point is called staging. Generally, previously we will we'll cut as docking area, but now no one will cut as docking area. It is called staging area, generally. Okay. The naming is staging, okay. Staging okay. area. This is particularly for GR, guys. This is mainly for the GR, GR staging area will cut as GR because what and all products we are receiving here guys in this staging area. What are the products we are receiving from the vendor right? Yes. Yeah. Means goods received. GR means what? Goods received. When you will do the goods received guys? When you will do the goods received? When vendor send something then we will receive it. Yes. When you receive some goods from the vendor, generally we'll 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 do the goods receipt. So what number of products we are receiving? Okay, that we are keeping it as GR staging, staging the goods means keeping the goods, unloading the goods into the respective location before before placing the stock in the final location. Before placing the stock in the final location, we are unloading the goods in the respective location. Run into the goods in the respective location. If you go to any market also again, supermarket, okay, the vehicle will come. They'll keep the stock first of all outside or else starting of the way, uh, more only. They cannot keep directly in the, you know, uh, inside, right? First they need to arrange, first they need to arrange in a big space. I'll show you how much, how is the staging area, okay? It's very big area, it will be there, okay? Can you see here, guys? Mm, I can go to the staging area. Each and every where else they have different layouts of staging. Okay. Once they tell that, you can only understand. Okay. Now this is staging area. If you see too much of big space available for staging, they can keep the stock here first of all. Before placing the stock, you can observe here also. Just think that this is staging area, guys. Only this location, up to here only. This is called staging area. Okay, means what? Once you receive the products from the vendor, just we are unloading and we are keeping the stock here. Now what will happen? Each and every stock, each and every pallet, each and every this thing product, okay, will be assigned to some kind of forklift or some kind of person responsible for placing the stock in the Final location. From here, you need to place stock where? From here, you need to place the stock in the respect to this location. Respect to this location, you need to place because you cannot keep place. You cannot keep stock in the staging area, right? What will happen if I, if you keep stock in staging area? What will happen? Observe carefully here. I yeah, 
then there is a two issue one when the next stock will come then where we will put that stock okay mm, exactly. second if the product is uh, like need to freeze if we will put mm. outside of this so then damage or like it will get expire something like that will happen okay okay expire means you are taking two days time weekly expire but uh, within one hour or within two hours what will happen damage within one or two hours as you told me as you mentioned correctly the other products also will be coming not only this product right the other vehicles also will be coming daily it, 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 it is coming to door three just think it is coming to this door this door okay now as i into this door some stock need to be placed here right first of all if there is no space available what will happen here is here Unloading will not happen if some. Unloading will not happen. Put... The door, the vehicle will be stuck here only. The vehicle can't be unloaded again. The vehicle can't keep here again. The ones that vehicle came here, they cannot go again here. I mean to say like, Manu. they cannot without unloading. It's like yellow. Okay, they cannot go. Now in this case, what will happen? Uh, in this case, in this vehicle, there are some raw materials are there. That raw materials will be used for some other purpose. So somehow we, it is blocking the way rows. We are not maintaining some continuous activity. It is breaking the activity. That I will tell you what activity and all. Okay. Now, now we have in the staging area. This is called GR staging. What is this one, guys? The opposite side. GI staging. GI staging. GI staging, which is goods issue staging. I will tell you this example. Now don't worry. Now we should talk to the GR staging. Now, what is the final activity we should do? From GR staging to, we need to keep the stock in the respect to final location. What is the final location here? So, depend on their uh, like a product, how yes. system is assigned. Mm -hmm. Storage bin, uh, they will keep it. Uh, okay, mm. just think that this is storage type. This is called storage type 1. This is called storage type 2. Okay. One we am calling because uh, it is having some kind of we will store generally bulk products or highly heavy products. Okay. And we will, we will store the loose products, we will store here. Depends, okay. Veros, if you see here, the Veros, everything is packed. Here you can see everything is packed. And if you see other storage types, everything will be in loose. Everything will be loose. Uh, I mean to say, like a small bin. Let me show you the bin store information. Yes. If you see here, guys, what are these things here? What are these things? A yeah, loose product. Loose product and what and all? Small, small products. Right. Uh, yeah. But if compare with uh, the other products which you see here, all these are small products. No. So this is called one type of storage type. And what is this called, guys? This is called a different type of storage type. But both are storage types only, which you are storing the products. Right. This is called storage type. Okay. Where where you are storing some kind of big pallets or any kind of high valuable goods. And this storage type, we are storing the loose products and we are storing some kind of low cost goods. Right. Are you clear in this part? Yes, Ram. Okay. Now, these are called storage types. Now, in this case, these products I am storing, just in this case, just think like, okay, we received multiple products, guys, here. These products are not same products. We received two different products we received. Okay, means this is the one different product and this is the other different product. Okay, now we need to keep in a respect to stories. Now end of the day, end of the uh, shift or end of the you know, uh, one hour, whatever the unloading point is done. After that, we need to place the stock in the respect to final location. Just think that this product characteristics need to place in the respect to the storage type. Okay, now we are placing this stock in the respect to storage type. Now, 
these products need to be placed in the respect to other storage type. Okay, so so these are like final storage types where exactly you are keeping the final stock. Storage type one, storage type two, which is called high racks or low racks or any kind of loose footers. I will tell you all these things. Very important discussion. Okay, but this this think like these are like a final storage type. These are like final storage types which you are placing the stock in the warehouse. Okay, this is called final warehouse, final storage type. We are placing the stock here directly. From here, we just think this is the staging. From here, we are keeping the stock in the respective locations. Means what? When you bring something to your home, example, I am telling. Okay, you bring okay um, something. You you enter your hometown. You bought lot of things. Means when you go to hometown, you will bring lot of things, right? So once you came to your home. First, what you will do, guys? Uh, if you bring, if you bought ten items, ten items you will keep in the hall only, right? Ten items you will keep in the hall only. That once once you settle, once you settle means after uh, taking some kind of rest for ten minutes. What you will do, guys? In your home, there are five persons available. Means what five persons will do? One one person will take one 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 uh, product. Means rice will be taken. Rice will be keeping in the kitchen, final storage type. Okay, and if you take vegetables and all these things, they will be taken by one other person, and they will keep in the fridge. Okay, and other things, some kind of uh, snacks or some kind of other things, they will bring it to the kitchen, or any kind of other things, some kind of electronics you bring, you you, you will place it in the respect to your you know uh, some kind of rooms, or your separate rooms, you will keep it there. Means what? Once you bring the stock here. Okay, and you are going. You are deciding where exactly we need to place. Our system deciding where exactly the stock need to be placed for the identification, correct identification and space utilization. System will tell that where exactly you need to place. Okay, means what? When you are bringing something, obviously you will place in the respect to exact location. Rice you cannot keep in hall. If you bring some rice here from your home, you cannot keep in hall. Will you keep it in hall? No, right? That needs to be go to the you know kitchen. Okay, same like that. Each and every product needs to be placed in separate location. That location will be different. Tell by the system here which location you need to place the stock. <coughs> okay, that is called storage types here. So there are called different type of storage types here. Okay, I will tell you this one point. Just remember. Now we place raw materials here, guys. All these are raw materials. All these are raw materials. Example, you you take B N W only, B N W cars, B N W some kind of seating, B N W you know the outer structure of B N W. Everything you received, okay, and you place the stock in the different different storage types. End of the day, what you should do, guys, once you receive B N W raw materials, B N W tires, B N W things, what exactly we should do now? Give it to production line. Uh... Exactly, we need to give it to the production lines. This is called production. This is called production. Now, all these raw materials daily production will happen in the warehouse. In the warehouse production will happen daily basis, right? What is production, guys? Anyone can explain what is production? Just to have the others purpose who don't know. What is production? Uh, production means uh, we are uh, giving some raw materials and uh, getting some finished product. For example, we are giving tires and assembly, and finally we are getting an unfinished car. This is an example of on production. Exactly, exactly. If you take example of um, water, water means you know, just think that you are doing some kind of business, water business you are doing, or water bottle business you are doing along with the water. Okay, now you prepared water bottle. Okay, you prepared water bottle. One case, you, I mean, see, uh, you are buying caps. You are buying caps from a vendor. You you got the caps. You got the caps. 
and you are buying water bottles also it means you got water bottles also this is caps and this is water bottles so what exactly you are producing you are producing some kind of uh, you know uh, <coughs> assembly assembly of this water bottle and cap okay there are two things you are producing here assembly of water bottle and cap okay and also you are filling water bottle filling water into the water bottle okay there are two production units are there here there are two production units are there here there are two production units first it what it will do what are the arrangements for water water bottle and water cap and a lot of things will be there right water bottle the layer of the water bottle so there are a lot of activities around water bottle so you are receiving the plain water bottle here the plain water bottle it will go to the production in the production what they will do okay um, <clears throat> First system, what it will do in the uh, production line is machines. Automatic machines will be there. The machine will do the respective work. Maybe the layer of the uh, cap layer means the fitting layer and uh, fitting the cap size. So system will check everything and system will adjust everything. Okay, that is the production you are doing here. So once it is completed in this production line, in this production, what is happening? Filling of water. Filling of water. So in this case, the product is going here. If you want, I will take a water bottle picture only. So, just think that you are using the product here, and that product we are going to the production lines here. The water bottle is going to the production lines here. Once it go to the production lines, if you observe here in the production line, what is happening? For the water bottle, you can see this one. Okay, we receive plain water bottle, but if you see the outer layout of the water bottle, okay, the fitting of the water bottle. Okay, all these things are else you know the label of the water bottle, the company label. So all these things are arranged in the first production line, first production unit. It is happening in that work. So once it happened, this work. Okay, this bottle went here. Here what will happen? Here you will get water bottle with labels. Water bottle with labels. Water bottle. <clears throat> so if you observe carefully here what is happening here here we send a plain water bottle okay to the production here we received with respect to labels everything we received here okay and now in second production unit it will take full this one and it will fill the water water okay means final product is completed here means what production lines completed the finished parts give me one second guys now <clears throat> Now, whatever the finished water bottle is there, the finished water bottle should place in the respective location, right? The finished yes. water bottle should be placed in the respective location, means in the respective here. I can tell that this is the finished water bottle. I let me have a different color. So this is the finished water bottle. The finished water bottle, I'm placing it here. Whatever the water bottle that is getting produced from here, I'm placing in the respect to this location. I have separate storage type for 
finished parts which I am producing right. Uh, I have a separate storage location for that. Uh, so all these storage types is for raw materials. This is storage type for finished parts. These are storage type for the finished parts. OK, now these finished parts. OK, uh, just think that you are the customer. I am the owner. <coughs> you are the customer. I am the owner. OK, now these two uh, the customer requested for two water bottles here. The customer requested for two water bottles or else the customer requested for uh, empty <laughs> water bottles with label and uh, oh no, no, sorry, uh, water bottle with label and water bottle with water full. Means what? There are two finished goods I am preparing here. What are the two finished goods here? The two finished goods are like one is like water bottle with label. <coughs> okay, water bottle with label. Other thing is like the water bottle with label plus water. There are two finished goods here. There are two finished goods here. Now, this this materials, this yellow color one you can call it as water bottle with label and with water. Okay, and there are one more finished good type is there that is called water bottle only with label, not with respect to water. I'm making different this color. Okay, so there are two different end products we prepared. Now you are the customer. Now you are a customer. You are requesting for uh, two products full water bottle and two products only with label empty water bottles you want. What I should do now? We have to issue the water bottle. We have to issue the, well, I mean to say both you need to issue, right? Yes, yes. Okay, before issuing, what we should do now here? We cannot issue directly, right? What we should yes. do? We, we should put it in a staging area. Uh -huh, we should do the packing right first of all. Yes, yes, yes. Because we cannot issue the same products like this directly. So this product, this product should be packed in one of the pallet. Water bottle. If you see here, I need to keep one pallet here like this. I need to arrange something. Okay, which uh, you know, some kind of pallet I need to arrange. Where should I arrange? I need to arrange in the respect to work center. This is called work center. Work center means what? Where the work will happen. This work center mainly used for two different things. When you are receiving the goods and when you are receiving, when you are sending the goods. It is called work center. When you are receiving the goods, suppose you receive two different, two different products. As I told you, this one you received and also this one you received. In same pallet you received. I mean to say in same box you received. This both you received in the same box, guys. Okay. Now same box cannot be placed in two different locations, right? This is different product and this two, this is different product. You received two different products, guys. Let me show you. There is one. Uh, mm -hmm. That. Uh, This year, oh, I can't get the outer layout. Need, huh? Insert. Mm. Uh, Ram, I uh, have one general question here. Can I ask now? Yes, yes, you can ask. You can ask. Uh, basically, as per my knowledge, uh, Whereas it's like uh, it is like only uh, storing a material. Uh, there will not be any production will be happen. Am I correct? This is my uh, assumption. Am I correct or wrong? Yeah, same question I also wanted to ask. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Production will happen. See, it depends. Okay, it purely depends. Okay. You have a right question actually. It purely depends. Means what? You will not manage in the EWM, that one. Come again, sorry. Uh, See, uh, production generally, it will be there in the warehouse only. 
means i cannot tell all the companies whatever they are using ewm okay i cannot tell that okay all the companies okay they need to have the production in the warehouse see my current company and my previous company my, my previous client they have production in the warehouse only means what we have production lines we produce the finished goods and everything we have in the warehouse only but it's not handled in ewm wait wait I, let me complete let me complete so production always a dedicated place will be assigned to the production dedicated place will be assigned to the production here if you see we are storing the goods here we are storing the goods here and if you see here this is one layer one layer of the warehouse means one area of the warehouse the other area of the warehouse let me show you in the rays here production lines in warehouse can you see here what is this one let me show you it's not clear picture can you see here are you able to see this perfectly yeah you can see i think not clear image but let's see it it will come clear image there are a lot of warehouses are there with having production okay and if you see here if you see here observe carefully here where you can place the stock the finished products what is happening here what is happening here on assembly lines going here this is called production line okay so we are getting the finished products on the production line okay end of the production line. this is this is called end of the production line here means what this is a pro just think this is one of the production machine here this is one of the machine which is preparing the production uh, the finished products so this machine is taking raw materials from the production lines there are some one more lines will be there here okay top lines will be there where they'll get raw materials this is called raw material production lines where they'll pass the raw materials to the production okay here the production the for the finished goods will be prepared when the finished good is prepared there will be one more line this is called uh, out of the production lines where finished goods will come in a sequence okay okay and this will be placed in where this will be placed in the respect to storage type there are lot of warehouses i have seen where it is having production uh, plus warehouse where you will store the products and also will do the production also so that uh, that production will not handle it in ewm am i correct only no it, my last come my, my last project and current project and previous project also we are handling the production in ewm only oh, so okay. production means there are two ways of production the finished goods production and the raw materials consumption okay. which one uh, you don't uh, again <laughs> people will confuse okay, okay. Uh, see there are two things here production means what what is happening in production uh, giving raw material and getting your own finished goods oh, okay giving raw material and getting finished products giving raw material means what what do you mean by giving raw material uh, we are issuing uh... we are uh, what we get from supplier we are issuing to the line exactly giving raw material means we are consuming right we are eating it yeah we are eating the respect to raw materials means our machine is eating the raw material and is it is preparing the finished product right yes, so right. this is called consumption this is called consuming the raw material this is called consuming okay. the raw material and issuing the finished product preparing the finished product Okay. okay, and this consumption, consumption, consumption will happen in the ECC or EWM. Generally, it depends on the company. Actually, they can maintain in S4 or no EWM. Both they can maintain, but even this finished goods also will happen in S4 or no or EWM. It depends on the requirement. But as I said, in a way, 
both will happen in EWM, SAP standard way. Consumption also will happen in EWM and also finished goods preparation will happen in the EWM only. Both will happen in EWM, consumption and final goods preparation. Am I clear? Yeah. I, I, you understand I, 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 it later. Don't worry, you understand it later. Okay. Now in this case, we where we are, we are in the finished products. We have two finished products. Customer requested for two finished products. Okay. Miss total four quantity requested. Now I need to pack it. I need to pack it. Okay, now I group with these two products, guys, and I need to ship to the customer. Sorry, group. Okay, I don't know why you are not able to select both. Let me say. I group these two products into a single palette and I'm sending to the customer. Something wrong with this one. Now what I will do, I'm going to move to staging area. I'm going to move it to the staging area where I can perform the goods issue. Here's my doors. Okay. Okay, let me keep my doors again, guys. Here. Oh, here it is. Uh, sorry. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now, what is happening? So, what are the finished goods we prepared? The finished goods we move to the box center. From that box center, what is happening? We are moving to the GI staging. We are staging the respect to products and we are issuing the goods to the vendor. Uh, sorry, customer. We are issuing the goods to the customer via door. So this work center will be always used for un, uh, unpacking, packing in the warehouse because you will pack the goods, you will unpack the goods. Lot of things will happen, right? So that will generally be called as work center. Okay, if you go here, if you see, now you'll understand very deeply here. If you see, you will check the stock. If the stock is less in the warehouse. Okay, you'll order, order it from the vendor. What vendor will do? Vendor will ship the goods to the warehouse. Once you receive the goods to the warehouse, we have our own resources will be there. Means for forklift and all that will place in the that that will place the stock in the respective location. Okay, and system will identify where exactly the location of the product is available, how much of stock is available. Everything will be known by the system. Now, system will tell that okay, our um, stock is less in the uh, replenishment area where the customer is buying. Keep the stock in the replenishment area. Keep the stock in the replenishment area. So you will keep the stock there. And from there, what will happen? We'll issue the goods to the customer. When the customer requirement comes into picture, okay, we'll take the goods from the replenishment area and we'll move to the staging. Or as before move to the staging, this will come into picture before or later. Okay, it can be otherwise, vice versa. 
before it will come to packing or else in the staging area also we can do packing because it depends on the warehouse space allocation this can be mixed this can be mixed i mean to say like in the staging area only we can have the work center ewm has given some kind of uh, uh, flexibility to use staging area as work center because all the warehouses are not big okay few warehouses are like a, a small warehouses okay so ewm has given some flexibility to use work center staging area as only same area let me show you physically uh then um, basically yard and staging area both are the same or different on raw add is different i'll tell oh, you different yeah okay. tomorrow i'll tell you that one work center okay. and staging area these production lines now oh, these are production lines so what what few years is where they will do if they don't have a space right so they are receiving the goods to here right what the one person will come the person will come and they will do the packing and packing here only he'll keep one machine here and they will do the packing and packing and they will do everything only here itself only because there is no space in the warehouse got the point so i will tell you that one later it which means ewm has given some flexibility okay as per the space constraints also so i think today we discussed about this warehouse inner okay and tomorrow we will discuss warehouse outside also and also other things tomorrow we will discuss warehouse outside mainly you can see here warehouse outside okay this called to use at add locations okay so all these things we will see tomorrow guys okay and also there are a lot of concepts to teach basics uh, that we'll be discussing tomorrow any questions you can ask now uh just about basic question only yeah. uh go to slide 5 five yes uh basically uh uh in the stage of counting and tracking if there is uh, less stock the order will be created from sap system or, or this uh, you are telling asking about this one yeah yeah counting to how the orders will be created the purchase order will be created from ewm mm -hmm. system or from ecc system see like purchase orders will not be created from ewm at all it's always from mm right which is from the yeah, s4 yeah. or ecc yeah i have some queries on s4 and ecc tomorrow i think we can discuss uh, about the, the centralized and uh, embedded i have few more queries uh, i will go through it in this video again and i will call you tomorrow no problem no problem okay you can have okay embedded and decentralized don't confuse too much okay we have two environments available in sap which can use embedded and decentralized okay but uh, Uh, currently we are uh, discussing about the distributed systems because we don't have availability of server for uh, embedded so we are discussing like a decentralized system i mean two different boxes two different boxes means what as i told you two different environments will be there i'll show you here you can see here ecc one of the environment ewm is separate box currently this is not working okay server got lost this is not working so i am not able to discuss on hana but i will explain you maybe you know after two months there is no much difference at all that is the reason i am entering two different boxes ewm and ecc and in real time also i will use two different boxes most of the companies will use two different boxes guys where are the clients i have seen where are the clients i have worked okay i have seen always it two it means decentralized correct yeah, yeah decentralized decentralized actually it's a, it is um, I am not means uh, only one SAP logon will be there. Uh, am I correct? Only one box. You can tell that only one box. Okay, when they oh. buy the package, okay, uh, because EWM is a different package, right? Uh, the company 
we are is suppose the company has taken s4 ana okay uh, they paid some amount for the sap to uh, buy the box okay and the respective modules now if they want to move how ewm means ewm is a different box different package they need to buy again from sap ewm it's a different it's not part of the same package it's different package by sap providing okay so that is the reason we will call as two different boxes okay you have got some idea hmm. any other questions you can discuss and then uh, we actually uh, we're discussing we are uh, uh, how can i tell uh, we are think, we are thinking the perspective of uh, we are receiving goods from only the supplier we are not uh, discussing about the uh, 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 manufacture of goods inside and the, we can giving to production line See, be different it always uh, depends on the company where they want to manage that in sap or else they don't want to manage in sap itself finished goods oh. if they want to manage in sap obviously they will receive it in sap system only the produced goods the finished products no no um, my question is ram mm, uh, mm -hmm. we are seeing like we are looking at goods from external vendor correct mm -hmm. for, uh, for for in the case we are producing the material in our plant itself mm -hmm. uh, in that case how this system will flow i am not getting exactly what exactly you are asking you mean to say there is no vendor involved here in this case yes correct yeah correct yeah there is no vendor you, involved how exactly yeah. raw materials you are getting how exactly you are preparing raw materials for, for example uh, few raw materials we are procuring outside few materials uh -huh. we are we are uh, producing uh, by itself if you are producing so if you are producing your own raw material then that is not a raw material right it is a finished good right oh correct get the point uh, when you are preparing your own raw material that is a finished good right for you yeah okay whatever you are procuring from vendor that is called raw material for you if you are preparing your own raw material that is called finished good to you yeah correct correct mm. yeah, that's it my questions yeah yeah hello sir uh, how many different erps we can connect with ew different erps what do you mean by different erps means different interfaces you mean to say yes like uh, for example that uh, store example you had given uh, that time uh -huh. so n number right we of... cannot we cannot limit that one sap has given n number of connection interface connections right we cannot okay. limit any kind of connections okay sir uh, can can a single warehouse uh, have that uh, multiple businesses into it you mean for to say example? multiple plants business yes. into one warehouse exactly yes, yes we can okay that i will show you we can manage multiple plants at the same time in a single warehouse same yes exactly yes yes obviously yes. that is the main benefit of ewm right you can manage multiple plants n number of plants under single warehouse okay got it sir other people malikarjuna renu darshan maruti ramesh ramesh are speaking that's fine ramesh okay any questions on the first class and how do you feel it is it easy going or else is it hard going <laughs> into the mind uh, it's good only re uh, ram uh, it's a interesting topic mm -hmm. easy going into the mind <laughs> yes, it's easy, understandable. <laughs> then that is. Yes, sir, it's understanding. Mm -hmm. If it is easy going, then it's fine because complexity is yet to come. <laughs> yes. Okay. If you don't have any questions, we'll meet uh -huh. tomorrow at the uh -huh. same time. Saturday, yeah. Sunday only. We are going to have classes, sir. Huh? Uh, starting on Saturday, Sundays, but going further once you got pickup, we will be having on. Uh, Fridays, but based on your uh, free timings, I will tell you uh, when everyone is available. Then only we will take on Fridays. But it's good to have on Fridays actually because we need to complete the syllabus right. We develop is quite big. Uh, how much uh, duration you have planned, Ram? 
Okay. I planned for three months actually. Once okay. you get pick up writer, I can go fastly. But uh, once you get pick up also, I need to take weekend uh, Fridays also. Okay, because uh, I think uh, uh, the concepts uh, going further, it will be somewhat uh, difficult to interpret mm -hmm. for us. Yeah, uh, complexity is there. Okay, complexity is there. That is the reason I want to discuss like. Uh, uh, weekend uh, Friday Friday also if you have a class we can go slowly. Okay, Ram. Okay. because if I teach like this only very slowly it will take six months to complete EWM. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so at least we'll have like uh, some days once you get pick up then only we'll take Friday classes. Okay, but you will, you will give exercises also to practice. Yes, around. yes, 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 yes. Okay. or else when the Friday is not available we'll take extra classes on weekends. Sir. Okay, Ram, the okay. class is started by 8 o'clock and it ends by 11 o'clock, 3 hours class. See, EWM is quite interesting topic, okay? You can spend 3 hours on the same time, in the same class you can spend 3 hours also, if you show interest actually. Mm, okay, Ram, okay. Yeah, you have prepared any list of topics, uh, curriculum kind of thing? Uh, to be frank, I have it in my mind actually, but I don't have it in my notes, but I will prepare it, okay? Okay, Ram, okay. Aram, uh, server setup, how, uh, uh, how is the plan? Service. Server setup, server. For practice server sessions. setup, uh, server yeah. setup I will give you server, uh, that guy number maybe next week. Because that guy stopped giving servers actually, I got to know. Oh. And, uh, and you know in the market, EWM servers are quite hard to get actually. It's not very easy, EWM servers and all. Even if you are paying too much of money also, there is no... Availability of servers actually. Okay. It's good to have a server business if you're really planning maintenance and server <laughs> business. <laughs> okay. Okay, I will check on that. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, okay. Uh, please, please, Ramu. Okay, thank you. Yeah, don't worry. I'll check on that. Any other questions, Renu, Maruti? No, okay. no, from my side. So see that's what okay when you clearly understand and if you ask more questions then only you will remember okay try to remember try to ask questions Renu are you there? Uh, yes yes sir. Generally you used to you used to ask more questions in the MM classes and I remember them. <laughs> yeah this is my first class and uh, I think I need to uh, see these recordings again. Okay. Kind of okay. confusing for me now. Yeah, uh, Renu is my MM student, okay. So she is doing job there, and uh, she joined EWM class also. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, okay, guys. If you don't have any queries, we'll meet tomorrow, same timings, and we'll discuss in deep of outer layout of the Veros and some more topics. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.